Hey guys, welcome to another commentary done by Diggity Upper Inquinov Vasayan, who is a player I do not know whatsoever. Uh, maybe active in CPL, maybe active on the ladder. I don't know his skill level. He's the Teal Zerg. Bottom left hand corner, we have Terranach starting as the Purple Terran. Looks like this is on Polypoid once again. And I'm going to favor Terranach. And I really hope Terranach wins because then I will feel. Uh, Vindicated in saying that Terranax TVZ is pretty solid and that I will, I will feel less bad for getting absolutely annihilated by him in uh, CPL stuff. Anyway, <laughs> Terranax pretty good with Marine Medic Micro. Very good at applying early game pressure and just, you know, doing everything right. Getting the Science Vessel count up. Plays kind of a standard macro style very very efficiently supply depot down on the front the scion at least going for an overlord opener we'll see if we're going to go over pool if we're going to go or 12th hatch i would expect a 12th hatch since this is a four player map overlord is going to be scouting upper left hand corner and finding nothing it is cross map positions which will help scions odds a little bit because you don't have to worry it's kind of like, yeah, you trade out not having to worry about Zergling Floods early game, but you don't have, to, it's a lot more challenging for Medic Marines to make their way across the field mid game as an exchange. Looks like we are going to see a 12 hatch. Barracks being initially built, SCV Scout moving out for Taranak, going to head to the upper left hand corner first. But yeah, Taranak, seeing those praises. In fact, if Terranach could win this entire tournament, I'd be hyped. I'm going to root for Terranach from here on out, actually. That's going to be my bias. I should be rooting for Jayun, because Jayun's my bud. And actually, he is my favorite to win the entire thing, but so it's going to go Terranach 1, Jayun maybe in second place, uh, from my perspective, and then Nesh somewhere in there, because Nesh is an awesome dude as well. Uh, Spawny Pool being dropped, Extractor around the 205 mark, so it looks like we are seeing two hatch mutalisk play so two hatch and then maybe a delayed third hatch we will have to see Ternak saving to go ahead and go for barracks into expand somewhat in the dark but hasn't hasn't really confirmed anything but hasn't seen zergling pressure out on the map so maybe just presuming that is the case confirms the second hatchery i think that drone going to go ahead and wander out finally to scout confirms the spawning pool as well see if he decides to mix it up in the lines one marine is blockading the route so that drone will be able to confirm the natural expansion but won't be able to get a lot of information otherwise second barracks being tacked on so we're not seeing an engineering bay first or quick academy build we are seeing that tech delayer from scion and it looks like the drone gonna go ahead and meander to the bottom right hand corner first this is gonna be a very late scout for Scion, and I almost am wondering if he might have wanted to opt for Zerglings to get the scouting information otherwise. Three, me, uh, three Marines on the low ground. Refinery coming online. <laughs> Want to see what that is. There's the Academy. Before Engineering Bay, it looks like that drone is, well... It's holding up short. I don't think it confirmed anything in the bottom right. SCV's still alive, so gonna get the pure layer timing here. And so I believe Terranax should be in firm position to go ahead and deal with this, but not building the engineering bay as of yet. So layer up. Still has that SCV uh, migrating around. More Zergling, wow, actually a good amount of Zerglings make their way across. I'm not sure that those were scouted. No medics on the front, no bunker on the front either. So Taranak, he might be in trouble here with this Zergling Flood. Depending on how well Scion engages. The other problem is, is yeah, he needs to keep this Marine count high. So the Zergling's going to get rejected. They managed to get a Marine kill. So, a decently, honestly, that was a pretty sizable investment early to be null, grabbing a second extractor. 
Turnak dropping some comps that still has not dropped an engineering bay. There's the engineering bay. This is very late, though. So we'll see uh, if Taranak can make up for it with some pressure. The Zerglings trying to get a run by out on the field. That is pinning the Medic Marines back, but they are out on the field applying pressure. It looks like they're going to be able to catch the rest of the Zerglings. SCV wandering out trying to find the third base. There is no third base. Double Sutton Colony being dropped, so I think Cyan wants to try to win this just with straight Mutalist play. Engineering Bay finished. It's actually the timing of that being fine for when the Spire is finished. That shows you how well I'm stuck I am these days. Uh, spire up, but not... Doesn't look like there's enough larva remaining. So that'll be four Mutalisks, and really the golden count is five to be able to one-shot the Marines. So Taranak just assuming there was a third up, still hunting for the third, doesn't realize that it's two base play. Engineering Bay there, let's see if he gets the turrets up in time. Mutalist not that far from spawning, and Scion wants to go for two base hive play. Fortunately, the medics getting drawn out of position. Firebat out on the field. Now the turret's being planted. Mutalisks making their way across. Looks like there are, looks like I might have missed a count because it looks like there are five. But this is going to be heavy Mutalist pressure from here on out to keep Scion in the match. And the Marines a bit spread out. Looks like the Medic and Firebat having some trouble. Looks like that Firebat going to get left in the upper left-hand corner to prevent additional bases from being built. So I'm wondering if Taranak realizes that all he has to do is macro at this stage, survive potential Mutalisk pressure, and he should be okay. Immediate tech to layer, or to hive, I should say, by Scion. That's going to get comms added. And Taranak still remaining passive currently. Sitting on three factories. At one time, add double the supply. is still keeping those barracks pretty well running, getting that plus one weapons now. Maybe still wondering where the Mutalisks are out in the field and confused as far as where the third is. Losing Marine right there. Some decent micro from Scion. Scion drawing the rest of the Mutalisks back. This will be, I, I wonder if this is just going to be a straight up Guardian rush at this stage. Nice pick off of the Medic there in open field. Taranak still hasn't plopped down the fourth barrack. Is actually going to factory here. So maybe, want actually double factory. So maybe wanting to go for a mech switch in the mid game. Zerglings starting to flood out. Hive just about finished. I'll be interested to see what Scion does. Scion doing a pretty... Well, has done a good job at least keeping the Medic Marines back. And pretty decent micro overall. There, one Mutalist down. Seven supply lead for Terranac currently. Still pumping out units. And getting a starport up. Okay, has the factory. Block, pop down the starport. Two more barracks being tacked on. Yeah, still playing defensively. I think realizing that it's two base play. Greater Spire now morphing. And we'll see if Taranak has the answer either in Valkyries, Wraith, or even potentially Goliaths. The factory is there. It looks like it's starting to float forward. Scion still has nine Mutalisks out in flight. Taranak really hasn't applied much pressure, I think, because of the lack of a third base. Medics, unfortunately, getting separated from the Medic Marine Force, so they're going to get wiped out. I'm going to chalk that up to nerves. Greater Spire just about finished. Control Tower being dropped. Science Facility as well. And I oh, I hope Taranak actually doesn't just wait for the Science Vessels and Radiate to deal with this. Because otherwise, could be a disaster. Greater Spire going to finish. Mutalists able to level the turrets in that back edge. Not able to get anything else, but... Expect to see a few drawback and morph. Yeah, so Guardians. Five Guardians coming online. Taranak very likely going to get caught off guard. Well, maybe not. There's a second starport. We'll see if... I'm still waiting for a Valkyrie. An add-on being tacked on. I'm wondering if this is for science vessels, though. And this might just be a lack of experience 
and knowing what to do to, to deal with this. We're sensing what's coming. So Marines hugging the wall, they're going to be absolute bait. For Scion. Yeah, Marines getting picked away at. Now Wraith being produced, but kind of late. The Goliaths need to be very, very careful on that ridge because they are still somewhat fragile. As you can see, it looks like some Zerglings going to sweep in. So Zerglings, Mutalisks, and Guardians now diving into the natural. No. The Medics lagging within that grouping. There's actually only four Medics here on the front. Plus one weapons is there. The Guardians exposed. Looks like the Zerglings have been thinned out. Scourge joining the fray so they can go ahead and deal with any other form of air. And it looks like Scion, yeah, continuing to apply the pressure. Terranax still with the supply lead, but keep in mind a lot of that is in SCVs. So it's actually, yeah, now potentially just going to end up losing this barracks. No additional movements, though, to grab any bases here from Scion. So just wants to win it on Guardians alone. Ten Guardians making their way in. Two Wraith in production. However, there's Scourge waiting, and it looks like Scion might have done it. As the second barracks goes down, and Marines are dying as they're spawning. A flood of Zerglings making their way across. Emergency Bunker coming online. The Wraith trying to group up around the turret to the left. The Firebat making its way back down, but not before getting annihilated. And now, Terranac just does not have sufficient defenses to hold back the tide. No, Terranac, not like this. Not like this. Scourge are not on top of it, though, and the Guardian's being taken out. Ugh. And the rest of this base getting absolutely obliterated. And with that, Taranak going to be eliminated by two base guardian play. Ugh, I hate to see it. I was really rooting for Taranak. Well, yeah, no. The Zergling's still able to flood in. Not going to happen. Scion finally takes the supply lead. The Goliaths, or sorry, the Goliaths, the Guardians are going to be wiped out, but that's not going to be enough to fight back the Zerglings that are now incoming, although Zerglings not a, can't attack air, but a few Mutalisks, and without Cloak, those Wraith not going to survive. I'm actually surprised that Taranak being really uh, gritty here, trying to hold back, Scion had, just needs to spend minerals, and he should win this. Finally moving out. But that Marine at the 3 o'clock location actually going to be able to deny there. So for the moment, Taranak actually nice, able to repel things, trying to get barracks reestablished. Look at this. I called him out too soon. Bunker in the back corner. The Wraith now out there on the hunt. Keep in mind, they do not have cloaking. Scion going to expand at the 12 o'clock location. There is a Marine there disrupting. Is that drone going to get taken out? Ugh. I want to see the biggest comeback of all time right here. I want to see it. Seven Mutalists making their way across. Taranak maybe can peck down that 12 o'clock base before the Mutalists arrive. I'm, it's going to be a tall order. There is a Hydralist in there now as well. The Zerglings being pressed. Ugh, that's going to be Ted, two dead Wraith, unfortunately. Zerglings, I think they're just a move down here. Factory dropping down, a bunker as well to maybe try to reestablish that natural expansion. Science vessels being constructed. There are four barracks running. Zerglings pushing their way across, but there are Marines and Medics to now greet them, but oh, an overwhelming amount of Mutalists now. Re-engaging here. And with Zergling support underneath and no medics, the Marines again being forced back to their bunker. And Taranak once again in isolation in his base. Oops, 
Maybe can buy some time to get some irradiate up. It's going to be a tall order, though. The four barracks once again taking fire. The wraith pulling back. Trying to do what it can to, buy, to draw the mutalists away to allow the marines to get back to protective cover. It's not happening, though. 3 o'clock base up, 12 o'clock base mining. You can do it, Taranak. Get back in this. Big irradiate. He hears my voice. Unfortunately, the irradiated mutalist died fairly rapidly. He still got a tall order, though, because it's... As soon as there's some mining, it's going to be four base Zerg versus one base Terran. So Terranak needs to find a way to get an expansion and hit back somehow. More mutalisks and Zerglings flooding across for follow-up attacks. The beleaguered Marines now hanging out in the main. And yeah, I think this is elimination match is why part of the reason guys are fighting it so hard. A Wraith patrolling to the north just to make sure an expansion wasn't taken at this location. Scion now taking his time. Science vessels on the prowl. Ugh, that's some scourge. One science vessel down. And a decent split from Scion to get the mules out of there. Looks like the science vessel is going to survive with just three health. The rest of the mules going to be heavily damaged. But Scion now sitting on three gas. No Defiler Mound as of yet. Actually went to double Evolution Chamber, so this is kind of moved back. This is crazy. So moved back to uh, some version of Crazy Zerk, I suppose. Three o'clock base, again, still not mining. Taranak finally recapturing his natural expansion. Has enough Medic Marine out there. Uh, it's not able to protect the SCVs from the Mutalisks, however. Two Mutalisks die. As a result, and if you can believe it, the supply counts are actually just about even. And as I say that, Scion surging ahead. This is a crazy one. Taranak re-grabbing his natural expansion at the 17 minute mark as his main is mining out. A lot of bases to try to take care of. On, Scion's feet, on Scion and Taranak, you can just see the minerals are just kind of trickling in at this stage. Lurker Tech just about online. Huge amount of Zerglings looking to engage to the north. This is reminding me of like way old school StarCraft, like circa 2000. I love it. Absolutely love it. These were what the matches looked like back in the day. Science Vessel somewhat exposed. Hydralisks. Sweeping across, Taranak breaking through to the north, making short work. He actually has plus three weapons as well. Versus no upgrades for Scion. So this hatchery is gone. Potentially, Taranak just has to walk in, focus it down. Sunken Colony is going to finish, though. Taranak now waking up. He's not out of it yet, ladies and gentlemen. This might be the greatest comeback in Brood War history. Still no lurkers out in the field. Taranak, you're going to take care of that 12 o'clock, though. Peeling back right this second. Just emptying the drones, actually exiting this base now. SCVs all over the natural. Maybe Taranak. So yeah, just going back, trying to get... I guess wants to preserve his army, just in case of a counterattack. Ultralist then is up, and even with, with plus three weapons, we'll see how that ends up playing. It looks like plus one armor finally finishing for Scion. That will equalize things a bit. He's also getting Ventral Sacks to potentially drop. Siege tank out, Taranak making motions to maybe grab his third, or maybe he just wants the siege tank to go ahead and siege the sunken colony and try to grab that base, Wraith following up to clear out what's left at the 12 o'clock. So Taranak trying to be annoying. 
hoping oh he has a group of marines again without a medic midfield though so wiped out there scion has now surged ahead in supply ultralisks soon to take the field i'm gonna assume that there's i'm not positive but i'm gonna assume that adrenal upgrades are there as well Ternak pulling back and grabbing his third. He needs to go ahead and pressure someplace. I mean, he had the plus three weapons lead, which was considerable advantage. Just taking a base and trying to macro from here, I don't think is going to cut it. He's pumping more Marines as he has them. Starting to comp sat. This gas is up. So it is three gas, four gas for Scion. Double the worker count. And Taranak, oof, needs to kind of stick and move because I think if there's a full engagement with the Ultralisks, Scion will end up winning. So Taranak looking to engage, just wants to punish and attack the main, but running into the bulk of Scion's troops. The Ultralisks absorbing a huge amount of damage and just able to obliterate what's there an empty late game irradiate. Marines bravely marching forward to their doom. And now that third base is going to be short lived as long as Scion pressures with that attack. And he has been aggressive thus far in this match. Taranak making a good fight of it at the very least. Half the supply of his Zerg opponent at the moment. Ultras gathering up. Four Marines versus two Ultras that have been weakened. But Taranak going to call GG, seeing the Ultralisks at his third. Well fought, but going to be eliminated. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for listening.